Just two decades ago, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs were fantasy in the defense world, but today these minute combat gadgetries have grabbed all the attention, agree or not? Now every nation, be it Russia, the USA or China, is rushing toward advancing weapons and constructing a powerful fleet of unmanned underwater or surface vehicles, unmanned ground vehicles for combat and also combat support functions. Especially with growing tension between Ukraine and Russia, the Russian government's efforts in this area are manifested in a multitude of creations of some advanced combat drones. The Russian naval force, during the growing tensions between the nations, launched one of their best strike drones, Orion. How will their best strike drone be a dreadful vessel for Ukrainians? What is the distinctive features of Orion? Should Ukrainians need to fear? The launch of this new drone? Let's take a deeper dive to know more about how Orion will be a game-changer in the ongoing war. When we flash back to the defense world almost a decade ago, Russia was mentioned nowhere. They were dawdling extensively, especially on unmanned platforms. Every other nation, be it the USA, China or even Israel, they were pretty advanced on unmanned platforms. However, Russians have now caught the extraordinary pace and are excelling enormously. You will soon be evident of this fact when Orion will be in talks. There is no surprise that situations are getting worse between Russia and Ukraine. Both the nations from decades ago have had bitter relations and several times have ended up in a cold war. The only difference this time is a Russian invasion of Ukraine's borders has dramatically changed the situation. Ukraine is highly supported by the US and other NATO nations. They are equipped with some extraordinary combat equipment like suicide drones and other stealthy equipment. How is Russia dealing with all this horrible stuff? Russia has some excellent unmanned vessels and one launched this year by the Russian naval force is the dreadful Orion combat drone, one of Russia's best strike drones. Apart from this Orion, Russians also developed a new aircraft that launched laser-guided missiles. Excluding these two, Russia has a fleet of stealthy aircraft carriers and submarines that can blast off several villages by just launching a few missiles. This is how Russia's naval force is counter-attacking Ukrainians. When was the Orion drone launched? The plans for the development of Orion were laid back in 2011 and the plan for the construction of the drone was handed over to Kronstadt. The first prototype of the drone was laid in 2013 to 2015, following which trials for the drone were scheduled in 2016, RIA Novosti reported. However, it seems the Russian Navy were not satisfied with the prototype built earlier, so an upgraded version of Orion was ordered to Kronstadt. So now by 2023, we can soon spot the upgraded version of the Orion. From the sources, it was reported that there will be five different versions of Orion drones and each class will have a small number of drones. Of those five classes of the Orion drones, the export variation of the drone is Orion E, which will be controlled remotely at a 250 km radio channel. Also, the range of the applications can be expanded through excellent satellite communication. Nevertheless, Orion drones were operational during the Russian-Belarusian exercise Zapad, which was held in September 2021, and even during the tensions mounted along the border of Ukraine, these Orion drones were operational and actively serving the Russian Navy. Why is Orion said to be Russia's best strike drone? Russia's best strike drone, engineered by Russia's Kronstadt company, is a medium-altitude, long-range, unmanned aerial system. The trial footage of the Orion drone represented a drone firing at the ground targets during the exercise of the Crimean training ground. Yes, this is something a really good aspect added to the drone. Especially for the ground targets, Orion has a revolving dome equipped with electro-optical infrared cameras and a laser target designator. During the trials in the footage, it was shown that a pilot in the ground control station uses sensors in the drone to identify the target before the drone takes a final move of attacking a missile. Also, the footage had a snapshot of an Orion drone firing an air-to-air -air munition at another UAV. It is a multi-purpose drone that can execute many other tasks like visual, radar and radio technical reconnaissance while the drone is engaged in patrolling a specific area for a specific period. The available version of the drone can operate for around 24 hours constantly. Except for these technical aspects of the Orion drone, the Super Drone Arsenal incorporates the KAB-20 and KAB-50 adjustable aerial bombs, the UPAB-50 guided gliding aerial bomb and the X-50 guided missile. 
In total, this Orion drone can carry a maximum payload of 250 kilograms. This payload also includes four air-to-surface missiles, which can accelerate at 200 kilometers per hour and can climb to 7.5 kilometers. And the exceptional quality of the Orion drone is that it can take on other drones during combat. So with all the best featureization offered in the drones, Orion is said to be the best strike drone in Russia. Were there any challenges faced by the company during the construction period of the Orion drone? Yes, the journey for the construction of the Orion drone was not a smooth one. Earlier, when the Kronstadt company revealed the first prototype of Orion, the Russian Ministry of Defense rejected it by specifying additional criteria not initially included in the technical specification. They also faced issues while finding a reliable Russian-made engine. Previously, they used to use foreign engines in the drone because they were unable to obtain a reliable Russian engine. And after all, the drone is worth constructing if it is successful in shooting, but also needs to survive for a longer term. With these loopholes, the Russian naval force might have ordered a few other versions of the drone. How AI is driving Orion? Nowadays, every drone or any other combat vessel is AI-driven because this amazing technology is responsible for making every piece of equipment super advanced and autonomous. One such interesting example of an autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle is Orion, built by Kronstadt Company. They have inbuilt a few amazing functions associated with artificial intelligence that made it more advanced. The excellent development in the number of drones is just because of Putin. He has pushed the Russian Navy amazingly for weapons development and eventually increased the power of the naval force. Putin once said they already have almost 200 drones and these drones have proven to be highly beneficial and effective during the conflict. They have majorly used these drones for terrorist drone attacks. Two decades of Putin's keen eye on the nation's development has entirely revolutionized the defense world in Russia. One excellent example of this revolution is a new generation of the Sukhoi stealth fighter jet, which is also coded as the Checkmate, which is specially built to carry and launch drones in flight. And the other example we saw by diving deep to know about the stealthy drone, Orion. So Ukraine will be quite fearful because of the best strike drone of Russia, Orion. Ukraine is also at par for offering a counterattack to Russia. Agreed that Ukraine does not need the power to design and develop its weapons, but we cannot ignore the fact that Ukrainians are highly supported by defense giant the US and also other NATO nations. The US has stepped back to head the Ukraine war because the probability was higher than the US and Russia would engage in a war directly. If that happened, then it might be a great mishap. So the US stepped back from assisting the Ukraine Navy, but they made sure that Ukraine is well equipped with all the advanced sets of weapons to counterattack the Russians, from which the most advanced and stealthy counterattack for Orion drones are kamikaze drones developed by the US, also known as suicide drones. The United States has already sent 100 Switchblade 300 systems and other 10 kits of advanced Switchblade 600 systems. The massive fleet of tiny drones available in Ukraine will have immense effects on the Russian Navy and there is no surprise if the Russians are scared of these powerful suicide drones, even if they are equipped with Orion drones. So now, both the countries, Russia and Ukraine, are equipped with the best quality drones which can help them to fight against each other. But the question arises here, who is more afraid? Is it Ukrainians or Russians? So what are your thoughts on Russia's best strike drone, Orion? Does Ukraine really need to fear Orion if they are possessed with super powerful switchblades? Do let us know your views in the comments below. That said for today, if you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.